roots, stem and leaves of a plant form an organ system for the transport of substances around the plant. We're going to start off looking at the movement of water through a plant. Water is taken into a plant via the root hair cells. The root hair cells are adapted for the efficient uptake of water by osmosis. They have a large surface area for efficient water uptake and a large permanent vacuole to maintain the water potential between the inside and outside of the root hair cell. The water then moves into the xylem cells, which transport the water and any dissolved minerals up from the roots to the stem and the leaves. The xylem cells are composed of hollow tubes which are strengthened by lignin to stop them collapsing. In the leaf, the guard cells can open and close the stomata to reduce the amount of water lost. This movement of water through a plant is known as transpiration. The amount of water that's lost through transpiration can be measured using a potometer. As the water is drawn up through the plant, the air bubble moves along the scale, allowing you to determine how much water has been taken up by a plant. Investigations using potometers have shown that there are a range of factors that can affect the rate of transpiration. Increasing the temperature, the airflow or the light intensity will increase the rate of transpiration, whilst decreasing the surrounding humidity will increase the rate. As well as the xylem, the other main transport vessel in a plant is the phloem. The phloem transports dissolved sugars from the leaves to the rest of the plant for immediate use or storage. Phloem is composed of tubes of elongated cells and the cell sap can move from one phloem cell to the other through pores in the end of the walls. The movement of food molecules through phloem tissue is called translocation.